Do you hear the cry? Do you hear the children's cry? Oh, you hold out. A woman fighting for evil. What can I do and how can I escape my mother's hands? Oh, my dear brother, I cannot tell. We are lost. Shall I enter the house? Oh, surely I should defend the children from murder. Oh, help us in God's name. For now we need your help. Now, now we are close to it. We are trapped by the sword. Oh, your heart must have been a rock of steel, you. Who can kill? <laughs> With your own hand, the fruit of your own womb. Of one alone I have heard. One woman alone of those the olds who laid her hands on the children. I know, sent mad by heaven with the wife of Zeus, drove her out from her home and made her wander. <laughs> and because of the wicked shedding of blood of her own children, she threw herself, poor wretch, into the sea and stepped away over the sea cliff to die with her two children. <laughs> what harm more can be? Oh, woman's love, so full of trouble, how many evils have you caused already? You women standing close in front of this dwelling, is she, my dear, she who did this dreadful deed, still in the house, or has she run away in flight? For she will have to hide herself beneath the earth, or raise herself on wings into the height of air if she wishes to escape the royal vengeance. Does she imagine that having killed our rulers, uh, she will herself escape uninjured from this house? But I am thinking not so much of her as for uh, the children. Her the king's friends will make to suffer for what she did. So I have come to save the lives of my boys in case the royal house should harm them while taking vengeance for their mother's wicked deed. Oh, Jason, if you but knew how deeply you are involved in sorrow, you would not have spoken to. What is it? That she's planning to kill me also? Your children are dead, and by their own mother's hand. What? That is it, O oh woman, you have destroyed me! <laughs> you must make up your mind and the children are no more. <laughs> Where did she kill them? Was it here or in the house? Open the gates and there you will see them murdered. Quick as you can unlock the doors, men, and undo the fastenings and let me see this double evil. My children dead and her? Oh, her I will repay. Why do you batter these gates and try to retire, <laughs> seeking the corpse then for me who did the deed? You may seize your trouble, and if you have need of me, speak if you wish. You will never touch me with your hand. Such a chariot has healed as my father's father, giving to me to defend from my enemies. You hateful thing! You woman most utterly loathed by the gods and me, by all the race of mankind. You who have had the heart to raise a sword against your children. You, their mother, I love married childless. <laughs> you have done this, and do you still look at the sun and the earth after these most fearful doings? I wish you dead. Now I see it plain. Though at the time, I did not. When I took you from your foreign home and brought you to a Greek house, you an evil thing, a traitor to your father and your native land. The gods hurled the avenging curse of yours on me. For your own brother you slew at your own horse side, and then came aboard that beautiful ship, the Argo, and that was your beginning when you were married to me, your husband, and had borne children to me, for the sake of pleasure in the bed you killed them. There is no Greek woman who would have dared such deeds. Out of all those whom I passed over, I choose you to marry instead. A bitter, destructive match. <laughs> Silly y'all in the
since he... Oh no! Not if I had 10,000 words of shame! Can I sing you? You're literally so brazen! Go! You're an evil! Stand with your children's blood! <laughs> For me remains to cry aloud upon my face! Who gets no pleasure from a new thing in love and the boys who I forgot and brought up? Never shall I speak to them alive! Oh, my life is over! <laughs> I am no humanity manager!